Vicki Bell and welcome to Navigate's Tuesday Tip. Today's tip is on the July the 8th memorandum from HUD. It talks about what the subject is working with owners and residents at HUD's multifamily housing properties. It's nothing new for us. This memorandum provides clarification to existing HUD guidance related to working with residents and addressing issues at HUD multifamily housing properties, as well as a reminder of the importance of following the guidance. This tip may be a little longer than our usual one or two minute tips, but due to the recent REACT changes and because we want you to be in compliance, I think that it will be well worth your time to refresh, revisit, and know these tips. Therefore, we will divide this tip into two parts. We'll have part one today, part two next week. The memorandum details five responsibilities of the owner or agent of the property. Points one, two, and five deal with REACT inspections directly. Point one is written in the Code of Federal Registration. It states that it is the owner agent's responsibility to notify residents at least 24 hours of a planned physical inspection. HUD encourages owners and agents to give as much advance notice as possible to the residents. I don't think anyone has a problem in fulfilling this particular request. The second point also is in the Code of Federal Regulations. It states that owners and agents are responsible to make inspection documents available for comment and review, especially if they do not pass the physical inspection. It further reads that once the 30-day technical review appeal period and the 45-day database adjustment appeal time period has expired, the owner must make the physical inspection report and all related documents available to the residents during regular business hours and upon reasonable request for review and copy. I don't think everybody is doing that. These related documents in this case include but are not limited to the NOD, the notice of default of the HAP contract, and the NOV, the notice of violation of the regulatory agreement. Now, now it is this step that, like I said, I'm not sure everyone's doing. The memo states that the owners and agents must provide a copy of the NOV and the NOD to the resident receiving project-based Section 8 assistance by leaving a notice under each door, posting the notice on the wall, or in the mail room and on each floor. The, by any other means necessary. I think that means that I would probably post it on the outside of the elevator doors or in the office on the bulletin board. Not sure what, you know, wherever necessary means, but make sure that your residents see it. In addition, the owner agents must also post a notice to the residents in the management office and on any bulletin boards in all common areas that advises the resident of the availability of the previously noted items. In other words, HUD wants you to let them know that you failed the inspection. The third point of the memo is titled Implementations of New House Rules at Assisted Housing Properties. HUD encourages owners and agents to work collaboratively in the development of the house rules and to make sure that they are fair, practical, and effective in supporting a safe, sanitary, and decent living environment. Remember that if you change your house rules, you have to give the residents a 30-day notice before the new rule can become effective. Well, we'll cover points four and five on next week. Thank you so much for your attention and we'll see you next Tuesday. Did you like this video? Hit the like button below. Do you want to see more content just like this? Be sure to subscribe to all our social media platforms. And if you know someone who could really use this information, be sure to share it.